personality versus policy, which was more influential for the ages 18 to 24 in the 2015 general election. In recent years, the way in which elections are decided by voters has changed. Greater exposure of politicians through mass media and social media has culminated in growing influence towards the personality of politicians. A prime example of this can be seen with the rise of Donald Trump in the 2016 Republican primary elections predominantly being classed as having an authoritative personality. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Yeah. Mark my words. Yeah. In contrast, other politicians were subject to strong criticism. For instance, Ed Miliband for being too weak to be a viable representative. Am I tough enough? Are tough enough? Hell yes, I'm tough enough. The way that politicians like Ed Miliband are called to defend their personality and appearance highlights how much a candidate's personality can influence voter behaviour. So, what's the problem? The 18 to 24 age group tends to have the lowest voter turnout in elections. In the 2001, 2005 and 2010 elections, less than half of the age category turned out to vote. Typically, this group are less engaged with politics, especially the respective policies of the UK's major political parties. It's important to explore why young people do not vote. However, this has been addressed by many other scholars. For those who did vote in the 2015 general election, it is imperative to understand what role new technologies and the change in political atmosphere have played in leading this age category towards voting for personalities rather than policies. Within a democratic system, voters should vote for who best represents their views. Yet, in recent years, with the rise of social media and changes to the political atmosphere, there are questions as to whether policies matter, as this could have major policy implications in the future. So what did our survey say? To find out whether personality or policy have more influence on this age group, we conducted a survey where we asked 88 participants about their views on the 2015 general election. The aim of this survey was to compare the views of 18 to 24 year olds in the 2015 election to previous election studies and to corroborate whether there has been a change towards personality over policy. Time and resource restraints meant that our results were not as significant as they could have been. With greater resources we would have been able to expand the scope of research and look at other factors which could influence personality or policy. So what does this meant for smaller parties? A clear result from our survey was that Green Party policies were the most popular among participants. When participants were asked to select the policy which they thought was best without knowing the party, 26% of participants preferred Green Party policies over the other major parties. However, when participants were asked which party they thought had the strongest leader, the Green Party's leader, Natalie Bennett, ranked in the lower quartile of the results. This highlights the importance of having a strong leader, especially for the smaller parties, as the Green Party are often seen as having popular policies, yet see little returns in election results. For instance, the Green Party only won one seat at the last general election, and that was not even their party leader. While there could be other factors which have affected the success of the Green Party, for instance, the electoral system, the fact that our small sample of results corroborates with other scholars' work would suggest that personality does have some influence for smaller parties in terms of electoral success. These results are more influential when comparing to the SNP's success at their general election. For instance, the SNP won 54 seats and our results showed that their party leader, Nicola Sturgeon, was named as the strongest candidate. Another interesting finding from our results was the way in which UKIP were displayed. A significant proportion of the results saw people consciously portraying UKIP as running the best campaign, yet their policies came second to last. This is particularly interesting when put into context of the 2015 general election, where UKIP secured the third highest proportion of votes and further emphasises the importance of party leaders, in this case, Nigel Farage. So what did our survey say about larger parties? Our findings for the Conservative Party reflects the results of the 2015 UK general election. David Cameron was seen as a stronger leader than Ed Miliband and our results displayed that the Conservative policies were second most popular behind the Green Party. However, the Conservative and Labour parties still came first and second respectively in the 2015 election. This proves that personality of party leaders is more important for the smaller third parties as the two major British parties will always enjoy a stronger base of support regardless of their leader. 
Other f- interesting factors which were picked up in our survey was when participants in the survey were asked which party ran the best campaign, one respondent replied, Labour in terms of appealing to young people. However, within this research, it is important to note that the power of social media has in terms of influence. For instance, it could be argued that Ed Miliband became a more notable figure to young people because of the Miller fandom trend. So what are our conclusions? To sum up, the research we have collected indicates that there is no clear conclusion for whether 18 to 24 year olds in the UK vote in favour of policy or personality. Voting for personality of candidates has become particularly significant for third parties in the UK, where short-term factors, for instance party leader, are more influential than it would be for the two major parties. However, the majoritarian system employed in the UK elections means that long-term factors, such as policies, play a more important role for the Conservative and Labour parties, who are more accustomed to win.